Hello, I'm going to give you a quick demo today of the Pay360 SCP or Secure Card Portal. The SCP is a SOAP compliant web service which is designed to allow your third party or even in-house developed applications an interface out to our ecosystem to allow you to securely integrate payments to your site. The Pay360 SCP usually follows the same process and this process can be demonstrated here using my test system. I've got a number of different options here. This is an in-house developed test system that we've just pulled together to, to sort of show you how it works. But really, boils down to whether I choose council tax or housing rent, the same sort of example where this third party application is showing me the user previous payments that I've made, any outstanding balance that I might have on the account. This system probably already knows who I am. It knows my address. It knows my email. It knows all that other, other information about me. But what it doesn't do or certainly shouldn't really do, is collect card detail and collect payment directly through that application itself. And that's where the SCP comes in. By clicking something like the button that I've put on the screen here, the Pay Outstanding Balance button, what this third-party app will do is it will wrap up the information about me, about my account, about my balance outstanding, and send that across to the SCP. All sorts of other wizardry happens in the background, like generating digest keys and building XML payloads and other stuff. But the user themselves will take a seamless journey over to the SCP or more commonly known, the card pages, where they'll be able to enter their card information and proceed with their transaction. So if I click the Pay Outstanding Balance button, you'll see the user is automatically and seamlessly redirected through to the Pay360, in this case, demonstration environment, where they can pick from any number of APMs that are enabled on that service. In this case, I'm going to simply choose card. It's the most common. It's the most um, standard sort of payment type. I'm going to enter my card number, I'm going to enter my expiry date, and I'm going to enter my security code. And it's very important to point out that at this point, that user is not entering that information into your screens. This is done here through the Pay360 screens because we've been passed here by the SCP automatically. I'll click continue. I'm happy with that. We can see now that the SCP or the card pages know who I am, my address information, my email address, and all sorts of other information about me. That's been passed over as part of the integration. And that's really, really important because it means that you don't have to log in. You don't have to uh, re-key information. You don't have to remember account numbers. It's all done automatically in the background. I'm happy with that. The information is all correct. So I'll click continue. I've got one last chance to change this here if this isn't right. So I'm being given a description. In this case, I'm paying my council tax. I'm given a reference. That's my council tax reference number. I've got the price on the screen, which actually is the full outstanding account balance in this case. I can see the last four digits of the card number. I can see the cardholder name and I can see the expiry date. I'm happy with all that. That's correct. When I click the make a payment button, the SCP will automatically go off and authorize that card in real time and will then pass the user back to the system they came from. So they'll be passed back to, in this case, my third party test app. That's completely dynamic and completely customizable. So if you have a particular receipting page that you want to pass the customer back to, or maybe you want to pass them back to a screen where they can book a time slot for the job that they're paying for, you can specify that in code as the initial integration. So I'll click make a payment and you'll see I'm passed back to uh, my third party app. You can see my payment was successful and it tells me my account and any outstanding balance has been updated. I can feel that my smartwatch has just vibrated, so I know that I've got an email that's come through and the system tells me it's emailed me a receipt through at this email address. In code, you can now do all sorts of other fancy things if you want to, like you can state check and you're, you can ask the system to give me um, the authorization code. If after uh, a normal amount of time, the user hasn't completed the transaction, you can in code ask the SCP, has this person finished the transaction or maybe they've been cut off because they've been on the train or you know they've chosen not to finish the payment or any number of different reasons. The SCP will always follow those same basic principles, but because of the way that the system is delivered, you can enter different um, amounts, you can enter different fund types, you can enter different uh, return screens. And so it's very, very flexible in terms of the types of payment that you can take. If you're a third party app developer or maybe you're, you're a developer interested in how this works, there are a number of different options available in terms of documentation. One of them, just to give you a very quick overview, is our application usage guide where you can go in and you can invoke requests to the SCP by dropping your payload information directly in here. You can 
generate digest keys if you want to test before you actually go off and implement this into a test system. But there's all sorts of different bits of information here that can be gleaned for an app developer or, or you know, maybe somebody who's interested in how this works. If you've got any more information on this, or maybe you want to know a bit more about how you can get a CP and how you can integrate these payments into your platform, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Uh, we'd be more than happy to set up a session where we can go into a little bit more detail of how this stuff works. Thanks very much and hope to speak to you soon.